When we talk about the protection of the natural environment, we must start with the subject of producing energy. Energy is what enables us access to almost every necessity and facility we use every day. One of the biggest challenges the world's energy market is facing right now is to lower the emission of fossil fuels. Although, the code 2 free solutions already exist. Somewhere in the big blue ocean, there lies an island that can serve as a blueprint for the approach to tackle the challenges of climate change, with a self-sufficient supply for renewable energies. We are currently in South Pacific, in one of the most isolated hotels in the world, Island Resort Taha. French Polynesia is powered by sun. Sun generates energy and sends out to Earth that technology, like solar panels, transform into electricity. The solar energy produced is not only able to power the resort, but it is also critical to stimulating a vibrant and healthy reef surrounding the island. How? Let me walk you through the island. The concept of so-called BIRAC involves applying a low-voltage electrical current completely safe for humans and marine life, to a submerged conductive structure that causes dissolved mineral crystals in seawater. Bioroc is most of all powered by renewable energy through photovoltaic solar panels. The composite is made of limestone and brucite, with mechanical strength similar to concrete and which makes it a natural composition of coral reefs and tropical sand beaches. Biorock methods speed up coral growth in damaged areas and restore the authentic coral reefs organisms. Diving through it, I got to see the full range of species and local biodiversity. This original solution of an architect and marine scientist, Professor Wolf Hilberts, was being developed from 1974 for 15 years and from 1988 is licensed for use of the Taha resorts. Thanks to such innovations, Polynesian's coral reefs are considered world's healthiest and are vastly growing. This was Victoria Fort for Visa V Reports, exclusively for you from French Polynesia. I'll see you in the next report.